Hello, Noise Bridge, and uh, greetings from Edinburgh, Scotland. I will be asleep by the time you see this, otherwise I would have done this over Skype or some other cool synchronous protocol, but what the hell, a movie fight works. I miss you guys a lot, but won't be able to make it myself to 5 minutes of fame today. You'll have a lot of fun yourselves though. So for this night's entertainment, I figured I'd tell all of you how to tie a bow tie. Because in the immortal words of Doctor Who, bow ties are cool. I have one standard issue, uh, cheap off of tie rack when they decided they didn't want it anymore, a uh, self-tied bow tie. It's pretty much a symmetric piece of fabric. Uh, these two lobes are pretty much exactly the same once you get them lined up. I've got a nice little pattern to it as well. So you can see what I'm saying. Hold it close. To tie it, put it around your neck, underneath the collar, just like with an ordinary tie, for those of you who either are forced to or still voluntarily wear them. Put... There we go. Get some the action here. Put one lobe over the other and make sure it's slightly lower, uh, slightly longer than the other. You might, if you're bull necked like I am, you may have to tie, uh, pull this reasonably tight. And you wrap it around and pull it up right there. So that you basically have a knot, plain knot, around your neck. Now put this to one side, we'll ignore that. The other one we fold over on itself. First one goes down over. Now here's a bit of a fiddly bit. I'm going to take my finger and shove it through the entire tie back here until it pokes out on the other side. And then I'm going to take this part that I folded down and I push it up behind so I can get hold of it with the finger and pull it through the entire knot. If you tie your shoelaces the way I do them this is the exact same knot, only you don't see what you're doing because you're doing it right up here at your throat. And uh, you're doing it with this weird piece of fabric that's built to look really snazzy once you've managed it, but doesn't really help the process. Once it's through, you tighten it by pulling on the uh, two loops, and now you have this misshapen mess. So now comes the point where you clean up the knot. You'll pull on one or the other of these components, the flat things that correspond to the uh, single strands in our shoe knot, the loops, until... I tend to do this by feel. I pull until they seem reasonably evenly sized, all of these things. And again, my neck is particularly fat, so I can usually never get them exact same size, but after you sort of nudge them and pull them and poke them a little bit, they'll be approximately the same size. These things will more or less line up, and these things will more, more or less line up. At which point you can pull your collar back down, pop the bow tie in front, and go out to meet the world, securing the knowledge, knowledge that you're slightly more hipster and slightly more weird than anyone else in sight. And the best thing with wearing a bow tie is when you're done for the day, when you feel you can step down in formality of it, you get to do this. And this feels really cool. And new. That's it from your Scottish style guru. Enjoy the rest of the five minutes of fame.